In this next problem, this becomes start to get a little difficult because you guys are somewhat familiar with roots, squaring numbers and square roots. But once we start getting into higher, higher roots, um, we start getting a little complicated. So I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a um, trick. One thing to always work on these is to break them down into our prime factors. And so if I'm looking into 27, what I can do is use a factor tree. And I don't really like to use this because, hey, it works great for this problem, but you're not really going to want to use the factor tree for like every problem because it's time consuming. However, if I'm having trouble with this, I don't know what number multiplies by itself to give me 27 three times, then I can use the factor tree. And what the factor tree is basically doing is you're just determining what are the factors that multiply to give you 27. And you keep on breaking it down until you get to the prime factors. Do you guys see how I cannot break this down any further? Yeah. So do you guys agree with me that 3 times 3 times 3 is equal to 27? Yeah. So I now have the cube root of 3 times 3 times 3. Then I know I can break out y to the 6. That's y multiplied by itself 6 times, right? So you could write that as y times y times y times y times y times y. Times y. <laughs> then going back into our rule, we know that the cube root of something multiplied by itself three times is just equal to y, right? Do you guys agree with me? So the cube root of 3 times 3 times 3 is equal to? What do you guys think the cube root of 3 times 3 times 3 is? 3. So look at I circle 3's. I have 3 y's. I have 3 y's. So therefore, this is just equal to 3 y times y, which is 3 y squared. Definitely right. One pregunta, por favor.